I just want to start by saying I can't believe we're sitting here having the same discussion six and a half years after I survived the Sandy Hook shooting and JT's brother Jesse was killed there. I mean, if we can't do something after 26-year-olds are killed, it's, it's pretty shocking. Um, I'm a Republican. I have guns in my home. My husband and my sons are avid sportsmen and hunters. Um, but we also believe that gun responsibility, gun ownership comes with grave responsibility. I think most Americans do, and gun owners do. What will it take for our elected leaders to hear the call of people like us in the radical middle and bring background checks for all gun sales to a vote in the Senate? What do you think, David? At one time, I was 100% against it. Because? Because we have a Second Amendment that expressly states that's not to happen. Our rights won't be infringed. But today, um, I don't want just some answers thrown out. And like she said, what's it going to take? I think there needs to be some unity. I think there needs to be some uh, tremendous prayer in, in all these decisions. I think that this gun registration, again, I'm probably going to surprise some people that know me, and they know me real well. Um, I, I, th I think it's a viable alternative. It, it, it wouldn't have stopped any of these shootings, though. None of these shootings had guns illegal. So it, it wouldn't have stopped any of them. Well, if, the background, if the background check law um, was extended so that instead of a three-day waiting period, there was more like a 10- or a 20-day waiting period, the shooter in sh um, at the Charleston shooting would not have had a gun because he wouldn't have passed the background check law, but he got a gun because three days later his background check hadn't passed. So that's a fact. Right. And we know that background checks keep guns out of the hands of people and, and save people because you know, every gun that's sold starts as a legal gun and not until a background check is missed does it become an illegal gun potentially. Right, but if he still would have been able to get that gun 10 days afterwards, he still had his mindset. But you know what, he wouldn't have passed the background check. He right. would have, been, his, he would right. have, he would have not case gotten is, the gun. That case is fact friendly to the idea of why background checks work. I think that the the other point of analysis that becomes relevant here is that, is it fair to say if the rule wouldn't have stopped the event that precipitates that rule, then it must be a bad rule? And I think that what we're learning is you need layers. You know, what we're using as a word and arguably abusing as a word, which is holistic. And the reason I say abusing is we keep talking about a holistic approach to it, but we do nothing. Uh, and it seems that we're using the word holistic as a reason to say, well, if we're not going to do all of these different things, then we won't do any of these things. And you wind up where we are right now. Whereas, OK, so background checks wouldn't have made a difference because in this particular instance, uh, this person didn't have a criminal record or any of the other thing. OK, um, but as a combination effort of if you have red flag laws that are fully funded and encouraged in a way, OK, if you have better treatment for people and an ability to get people who need that treatment kept in a place, well, that's okay. But that's not going to be the panacea that we're hearing from the president because people with mental illness are much more likely statistically to be victims of violent crime than they are perpetrators of it. And while we do see an, an overweighting in percentages of tragedies like the one where you lost uh, your brother and that you had to live through, in mass shootings in general, or once you look at what really should count as mass shootings in places like Chicago, well, now that's off the table. It's not about mental health anymore, but it is a piece. And it seems that if we could talk more about doing lots of things that might make a difference, maybe this one doesn't matter in this case, but it might matter in the next. And as a comprehensive solution, we would apply that to every other problem we deal with except this one. If you thought about it in terms of protecting kids from predators, if you look at the laws on that, I don't know why you would. That just happens to me in my life. That's the kind of things that we look at in this business. There are many different layers of protection, different agencies with different responsibilities that do different things and share information in different ways, where you can live afterwards, how you can be, how they review you in prison, because we're so worried about having it happen again. Not here. And that's something for us to think about.